Hey, so I've been caught out. I get all the girls to do a why video and to tell their story and to talk about sort of why unique, what it's done for their life, all that kind of stuff. And then a few people have asked me for mine and I don't have one. So here goes. Um, I have told this story a few times live. I've never recorded it. And I think it's because... Um, like it's quite, like there's some like sad stuff in there and so I've kind of not wanted people to think I was trying to get them to feel sorry for me because it's totally, <laughs> it's totally not who I am. But isn't that stupid because like the people that matter would never think that. And also I realised as I'm about to do this that I might help one person and that my story might just... Just help somebody. And if that's the case, I should have done this a long time ago. So here goes. For me to explain to you about Unique, I need to take you right back to when I was 18 years old. So I was 18. I was on a night out. I was in the middle of my college exams. And um, I was kidnapped by a taxi driver, taken off to a remote part of the city that I live in. And I was sexually assaulted. Um, I was due to go to university in the September, which I went, and the case came to court in the January. As you can quite imagine, I was broken. I was just a shell of myself. I left university in December, in the December. I just, I just couldn't cope with it. And, um... Yeah, so I was signed off work and um, then I went back to work for a little bit. And, and anyway, <laughs> I had a nervous breakdown and I was self-harming. I wasn't telling anybody. I had suicidal thoughts every day. Um, yeah, it was I was I was rock bottom. And uh, so they put me on, they diagnosed me with post-traumatic stress disorder and depression, put me on antidepressant, made me like a zombie, had to change it, um, went through my first bout of counselling. And, you know, I thought, looking back, I realised <laughs> what a shell of who I was, I you know, back then, but... I couldn't see it really and anyway but obviously those around me could. My mum was doing Anne Summers at the time so Anne Summers for those not in the UK is a UK party plan company and they um so they're a lot of fun and my mum was desperate to get me out of the house so she joined me up with my friend and we started to to do Anne Summers parties and I loved it. I really loved it. And this is the kind of the moment that really changed my life. So it gave me something else to focus on. And I sat at a meeting, feeling sorry for myself as usual, feeling very low at a training event. And the woman who took the meeting turned around and said, every single one of you in this room has the same opportunity. You're sat with the same kit. You have a choice as to what you want to do with this opportunity. And I don't know why at that moment it struck me, but it did. And I realised she was right. That although something horrible had happened to me, that I I was the only one that could get myself out of it. I was the only one that could change my life. And so from that moment, I did. And I decided to become a leader with my company. And... For this, you know, this is, you know, I'm forever grateful for taking that path. And what what this industry allowed me to do was it allowed me to heal. Because when I, when I was sad, I could be sad. I didn't need to ask anyone's permission to be off of work. Um, so, but also it surrounded me with other women and it gave me safety and I could work from home. So fast forward a little bit, everything was going well in my company, really well. Me and my husband had been told we had serious fertility issues and we'd been trying for a baby for four years. And I um, was going for quite a big 
uh, like promotion within the company that I was within. And um, we fell pregnant. So this was really great news. Within that same time um, of finding out I was pregnant, within the same day, I think, or day after, I found out that my nan uh, was dying. Not long after that, we lost the baby. And two months later, we lost my nan. Now, I tell you this because... Um, because I cared for my nan until she died. So she died at home. Um, and in, three months later, my granddad was diagnosed with terminal lung cancer. And he was given 12 months to live. And almost to the day, he um, he died in my arms a year later. During that time, they found out I had a tumour in my bone in my hand and so they had to cut that out and they had to do a bone graft to see that scar there take bone from there then I had a complication with this and I had chronic regional pain syndrome in this hand and um I couldn't drive for a very long time I had to go to daily physiotherapy at times I was put on amitriptyline which is quite a very high dose which is quite an evil um drug like it's just destroys you really but through all of that because of this industry I was able to um to work from home and work through it and so my business thrived because because I had flexibility you know to work with those those tough days and hard days and so so this is so I had to take you all the way back because this is how I ended up in this industry and this is why I'm still in this industry and as part of the reason that I do Unique is that I cannot, I'm probably unemployable, I could not go somewhere that told me what time I needed to go and eat lunch. Um, now just to fast forward a little bit and take you to me joining Unique. Um, so... Like I had reached the top of my my previous company, and I like bored's the wrong word, but I don't know. I found out about Unique the makeup, and it was launching here in the UK, and I thought I'd love to be involved in that. I had no intention of leaving my prior company. I had, you know, I owed them so much. I was happy. I had an extraordinary team. I was right at the top. Um. But unfortunately, they made me choose. And I don't know what made me choose Unique. Um, well, I do now, but I chose Unique on a wing and a prayer. We weren't even open in this country for business yet. It was, we could only just sponsor people. And I had to start again. Because A, I wouldn't bring my business away from the business that I that owed me so much because I had no problem with Anne Summers as a whole, but also my mum was my upline. So there's no way I could destroy her business by by moving across my whole entire team. Plus there's two totally different products anyway, so it's not for everybody. So I had to start again with Unique. And, uh, but I'm so glad I did. Uh, when I went to convention... I saw this miss mission, uplift, empower and validate. And until I started Unique, I did not realise that I was still broken. Like I thought I was fixed. I thought I had gone through all that I needed to go through. Until, until I was surrounded by a mission and by women who live that mission every day. So as much as I love my previous company, there was a lot of things that were wrong um with how it was and whilst everything isn't everything isn't perfect in any company i have never worked with a sisterhood like unique and and the mission the unique foundation knowing that i am helping others heal you know is just that's that's what that's what i work for every day so 
I feel like I was doing my previous company because I was waiting for Unique to open. You know, like, I feel like that was my warm up um, to this. And now I feel like I am home um, because it is a mission first company because I see women come into this company and they start it just for a little bit of extra money or, um, you know, just because, you know, they love makeup or whatever. And I see their confidence grow and I see it give them something back. And so when I started this company, um, and I realised the potential at Black Status, the urine and potential. My why was for fertility treatment. Um, me and Dan have now been trying for eight years. Um, and we want nothing more than to be a family. So, so that is part of my why is to pay for private fertility treatment. Because the NHS will not give me um, IVF unless I lose 11 stone. And I know I need to lose weight, but it that just seems like an impossibility to me. So, so that that's part of my reason. But my reasons, my reasons are just so much bigger now. That all I want to do is help people to um, to change their lives. My life changed all those years ago, and unique has helped. Unique has been brilliant for me, and I love it with all my heart. Um, but my life changed all those years ago when I decided to come into this industry. And this is why you'll see on my Facebook people from all all of the different companies as well. I don't just support Unique. I support this industry as a whole. I think this industry has so much to give and especially to women because it gives them something for their families and it gives them something for ch for children, for their children. And I don't have children, so... I don't have that I don't have that reason every day. But do you know what I have? I have their children. I have their children on my mind. If I can keep mums at home and I can help people to have the freedom that I had when I helped my grandparents, then you know, everything is worth it. So the next time you see somebody selling something on Facebook, don't be quick to dismiss it as as like you know, as annoying. Think about the reason behind it. Think about the human being behind it. Often people are just trying to make their way in the world. And that is what I'm here to support. So, um, so my determination not to cry did not work. <laughs> um, so that's how I ended up doing Unique. Um, I feel like I'm home and I, and I, you know, I think everyone's whys will change. I hope one day my why will become like many others, which is children. Um, but at the moment, it's to help those um, those around me. And and obviously, like I said, my my private thing is to to help pay for for IVF. But the whole bigger picture is 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 this just so much more than makeup. Um, and I owe everything to this industry. And um, I am forever grateful to every woman that uh, that has ever supported me on this journey, that's ever purchased from me, all the women I've met that have been on my team, all the women that I've met that have supported me. Um, you know, I, I just am so thankful um, because I believe that it saved my life, really, um, all those years ago. So there, that is me. Um, that is my story. And that is why unique. Mwah.